Hey, what's going on? I am Jay Dudley, and I just got back from a walk. I did about two miles, and the only thing that's different is the footwear that I'm wearing. I'm wearing uh, these Nord of 8. They're actually swim shoes, but I was supposed to go to the lake and uh, test them out, but I haven't got a chance to get there. Here they go right here and my favorite color of gray, all gray everything. Uh, but they, um, uh, they're supposed to be swim shoes. You can see the drain holes on them. And they remind me of my Vibrams that I used to wear, uh, my Vibram toe shoes, the finger shoes that used to creep everybody out. Uh, those were extremely great because they were minimalist shoes, barefoot uh, running shoes that I would wear, run up and down mountains, do all of my training and everything. But uh, I ended up getting away from that, especially since I retired from fighting. And uh, Nord of Eight, you can see their, um, their name and everything right there. I think you can see it. Let's move that out the way. That's Nord of Eight right there. Uh, they, uh, they are putting out some pretty good uh, uh, quality stuff. It's not made in America, uh, which is a uh, can be an issue. But hey, not many things uh, made by American companies are made in America, and I don't think Nord of Eight is an American company. I uh, found them on Amazon, ordered some boots from them a while back, and I've been testing out some stuff uh, here and there. Uh, they sent me out some boots uh, a while ago that um, because I tried to waterproof my tan boots. Uh, that zip up on the side and those have been working great the boots that they sent me uh, for um, uh, for testing that are waterproof I was uh, running around in the creek and those have been great now with these which are supposed to be running shoes I mean these are supposed to be water shoes uh, because of the drains and everything I'm actually using them as barefoot uh, uh, barefoot walking and then eventually running shoes I checked on their website they do have some uh, some barefoot running shoes or hiking shoes I don't I don't know what to call it uh, without the um, the drain holes like they have on here for uh, for your water sports or stand up paddle boarding that's another thing that I want to get into love uh, kayaking love canoeing uh, but definitely want to get into stand-up paddle boarding. Eventually, I'll be able to afford one. Maybe once I'm done with everything here in the van and we can go on more adventures, uh, that'll be really good. But uh, these, are so far, they have uh, a few miles uh, on them. Like I said, I just walked two miles with them. Uh, maybe in a few weeks, I'm going to... Uh, I'll be able to uh, start running in them, see how they how they hold up. If my my feet don't feel like they're sliding around in there, but I uh, I think because they're so soft, I'm catching right here on the ground as I'm uh, bringing my foot forward. Maybe that's just a walking thing, but I doubt uh, I doubt I'll have that same issue with my stride when I'm running. So uh, this won't catch on the ground, or maybe it's just because I'm out here in the country, all the ground is uneven, or it's just completely, um, completely broken apart, and it's gravel and stuff. But uh, let me show you how these go. It just has a pull string right here, and that's what tightens everything up. This is adjustable, and this tab right here, there's a spot for it right there for that to attach to and that's pretty much it it has a really comfortable insole so that insole and the um uh, the sole of the shoe itself has been protecting me uh from the rocks and what i really love about barefoot walking and running you're not getting the that cushion support that has your feet, ankles, Achilles, and your arches messing up. Uh, that's one great thing about uh, doing barefoot running, what, or uh, even without shoes, just go running out in the grass uh, would be good for you. That's what I used to do 
to build myself up to being able to run five miles. But like I said, that was years ago. I'm going to start off with these. Don't think that I'm going to be running barefoot in the grass anytime soon uh, because of the ticks. Ticks and the other bugs that like to bite you all day and night. Don't want to deal with that. So I will have these on. I, I'm actually, I actually wore these all day today uh, with uh, my business running around just like I used to do with my Vibram. And uh, until they completely fell apart and I had to toss them. But these are going to be... Uh, are really going to be tested and worn uh, worn for a while and maybe when it starts to get co uh, cooler out or the different weather I'm going to end up um, uh, end up putting the boots back on or if I'm doing something that definitely requires boots because I do need a new pair of boots too so that's about it uh, check them out Nord of 8 uh, you could go to their website or uh, look them up on Amazon to check them out. Tell them that Jay sent you. I think I might have a uh, coupon code with them. Just use Dudley. Anything that I'm involved with, use Dudley. Maybe you'll get something off uh, percentage-wise and get a good deal. These are already uh, not as expensive as, uh, as some of those other barefoot shoes. And it's the same quality, probably made in the same facility. Who knows? I'll probably never know that. Oh, feeling in here, there, uh, it's like a nice little cushion on the back for your heel. So uh, there's no rubbing, but I'm wearing socks. I, yeah, even with my Vibrams, I wore those toe socks uh, to go because I didn't like the way my feet would sweat in these, didn't want them stinking or anything like that. So wear socks. Don't be a barefoot hippie. So check them out, Nord of 8. Uh, eventually I'll get these in a lake or a pool or go stand up paddle boarding, whether I have to rent one or I can actually afford uh, to buy one. But that's about it for me. Shalom.